Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we were making it through the Forest Temple, and now we are going to finish it, hopefully, in this episode. There is one more Poe here. You alright, mate? Now, this Poe fight is a bit more annoying. Perhaps the Poe will circle you. And then, we've got to find the one that twirls. Oh, God. Got to find the one that twirls. Where is it? Ha! Ow! Ah, missed! Ow, they'll come back. There they are. And we fire at it! There we go, that's how you do it. Just wait for them all to come back again. You're the one that twirls. Boom! There we go, simple, it's a very simple fight. You want to try and make sure they're not obstructed by anything. That one. Boom! Next! Come on. I'm getting bored! You. Boom! There you go, we're getting better at it. I think it takes five hits, so one more hit I think will do it. Right. Boom! And with that he is defeated! And the last fire is mine! Which unlocks the elevator again. Very nice. And let's go into the elevator. Let's go. This elevator will go down to this area, which is uh, definitely an interesting one. I'll definitely say that much. So, let's have a look and see. So we got some stuff here. We got some areas that are closed off for the moment. What we're going to want to do is we're going to grab and push this wall here. Push the entire wall. And that will pretty much rotate this entire area about. And we'll see if we can get to those places. Not that one. We can go to this one, though. Wish we can press the switch. We don't know what the switch does yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Can we go into this area as well? No. Okay. Let's shove it again. Uh, put Navi away. Link and push! Push with all your might! And then we got a different problem thing around here. Here's another switch. Very nice. And that opens that door there. Uh, for here, there's nothing we can do. How about the one at the bottom? Nope, nothing. Okay, cool. So now, once again, we push some more. You can hear there, there's a gold skull tool around here. We need to go and find it. We can't go through there. How about here? No. How about the treasure? Oh, yeah, we can go through there. Hook shot ahoy for that. And then there should be a gold skull tool around here. There it is. Take. Take that. Yay! And that's my phone going off. I ignore that. Ignore it! Anyway, I do believe that's all the skull tulas here. Oh, wow, I'm missing one. Ugh. I'm going to have to come back and get that, aren't I? Now, let's open this and see what we got. We got some arrows. Very nice. Anyway, I believe we still can't go through here yet, but I think one more push will get us into the boss room. So let's go and do that. There we go. But we can't do that yet. I wonder why. Are we missing a switch, I wonder. Yes, we are. There's the switch. And with that, the door opens for the boss room. And we can go and take out the said boss. And kick him in the face, hopefully. Let's go and do the boss, shall we? Let's do it. And then we'll probably go back to the forest temple to get the skull tool that we're missing. But it's boss time. We just move on upwards here. Doesn't this look lovely? Yeah. And we're stuck here. 
Oh god, it's Ganon! This early? We're fighting Ganon? No way, we're not fighting Ganondorf this early. Oh. No, we're not fighting Ganondorf this early. Folks, this is Phantom Ganon. Evil spirit from beyond. Alright, so... He will go into these paintings. What we can do, actually, is we can stay on these Triforces. And uh, just have a look around. Ooh, there's two there. I'm missing, I'm missing. I missed him! God damn it. But at least one good thing with being here is we can't get hit by his lightning. So that's a plus. We need to look around, see if we can find where... Oh, there's one. No, that's not it. I missed again! Damn it. I'm going to run out of quivers at this point. Alright. I need to get better with the bow. There's one. Missed him again! Oh, damn it! I just keep missing. I'm not doing very good at the moment. In this battle. But I'm not getting hit. And that's a plus. Got him that time! Alright, I hit him once. That's a good start. Not the best starts, obviously, but still good, I guess. Yes, there is a fake. That's the real one. Got him again! Okay, I'm getting better at this. It's all about timing. You can get him just before he, just after he comes out of the picture. Which is very good, if we can find... Is he even back? You know I'm right here, right? Got him again! Now the second phase happens! I need to target him. Ow. Yes. So, what's happening now is we're playing a bit of a... Bit of this, for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what this is. Ah, well, at least they're easily dodgeable. That's a plus. Go on, go up, for God's sakes. Oh, I missed. Alright, I'm going to equip the, uh, the big Goron sword now. Just to get some extra damage off. But here's his uh, second and final phase. So here we go, big Goron sword. Let's do this. Bring it on. I am getting owned. It's because these are in the bloody way. That's better. Alright, come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh god, yeah. Uh, so he can volley them back at you. Which is a problem, obviously. He can volley them back at you. I'm missing pretty badly here. Oh okay, well. This is the first time I'm fighting this boss, so I don't know. Ah, oh, damn! Ah, I, I gotta get used to that. I've gotta get used to that. Come on. There we go. There we go. Damn it! Ah, oh, come on. All right. I need to get I need to get away from him if anything. At least a little bit. But yes, you do need to deflect his shots. That's the key to this battle. Gotcha. 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 Missed you! I am not doing well in this battle right here. I am just not doing well. At all. Oh god. I am so happy I got a fairy in a bottle. I'm gonna save my ass. Gotcha! Now attack! Attack! Get him! Alright. It's good amount of damage there with the uh, the Goron sword. The big Goron sword. We're just going to want to dodge these ones. Because they're too close. We're just going to want to dodge them. This is the one we're going to want to hit though. So come on. Hit it. Hit it. Miss it completely. Thank you, Link. Good job. You're not looking very good, Link. You're not looking very good at all. One. Two. It's gonna get faster. Yes! Got him again! Murder him! Yes! We got him! We got him! Barely, but we got him. That's all that matters. I did have a fairy just in case I did die. Hey, kid, you did quite well. It seems like you may be gaining some slight skill. 
But you have to fear only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Not even another dimension. Jeez, the thing's not even dead. I will send you to the next dimension. Instead, he just got sent in the gap between dimensions, which is worse. But what do we what we do get is a full it's full healing anyway. The heart container. Our maximum life has been increased by one heart, and we are fully healed. We are now on our second row of health. Yes, the max health you can have in the game is 20 hearts. We are currently on 11. So, all is going well, I'd say, so far. I think we only need, like, 20 heart pieces. Because there's still four more temples to go. But with that, we have at least defeated the first of our temples. We're back at the Chamber of Sages in a weird crystal block for some reason. I'd love if Link just fell on his ass there. That'd have been great. Oh, it's Saria. Hello. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. Well, that sucks. Oh. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. Well, we wanted science and nature for our trivial pursuit. Uh, we've got one. There you go. Science and nature is green, isn't it, in trivial pursuit? Yay, we got a wedge for our trivial pursuit game. No, wait, we got... Actually, something that looks kind of cool. I like it. We got ourselves the forest medallion. Saria awakens the sage and adds a power to yours. And the first temple is done. Saria will always be... Your friend. Even in Zelda, I am getting friend zoned. God damn it. And for some reason, we come outside the great Deku tree of all things. I don't know why that is. And there's a sprout there. Why? Why is there. A ah! Link just, I thought Link was dead from the way he was screaming. You are right. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you? Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kakiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. Why'd I grow up then? You must be wondering why only you have grown up. It did cross my mind. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kakiri. You are actually a Hylian. Plot twist! I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Thanks. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. Ah, Link's mother! The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world. So he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kakiri, and now finally, the day of destiny has come. Uh, yay! I am not a Kakiri at all! You are a Hylian! And we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learnt your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Because we can't be bothered. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Thank you, Deku Sprout. I'm guessing you're going to be the new Deku Tree, right? 
fairly certain of that. Anyway, guys, I am actually going to go back to the Forest Temple and try and find the Gold Skull Tula that I was missing. So, see you back in a bit. All right, guys, we are back in the uh, the Forest Temple. Uh, just going to try and get ourselves the final Skull Tula. Not you. You're not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for a gold skull tula, not you bloody vanilla generic skull tulas. Damn it. Anyway, let's see if we can try and find it. I, I'm not sure which one I'm missing, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I've got to be missing one somewhere. Is it this one here? It is! I thought it was! No, we no we don't wanna play we don't wanna play a happy song. We haven't caught it. We haven't killed it yet. And we're not gonna do if we shoot like that. There we go. Boom! And miss. And miss. And got it. Yay! And now with that, I believe I'm fairly certain. There we go, we have the uh, Skull Tula mark. So very nice. It's pretty much just at the entrance way, and I missed it. Alright guys, well, uh, what time are we on right now? Just gonna double check. Um, we got a little bit of time. Uh, maybe to go to a new area at least. Or maybe go to an area. Damn you. Get, get out of the way. Uh, wow. Ow! Alright, that's it. Just above the eyebrow. Sod you. Alright guys, so I'm going to be just outside the Kakiri Forest, and I'll see you back here in a bit. But before I uh, get to the uh, next uh, place we're going to be going, um, once you defeat the Forest Temple, there is actually a Gold Skull Tula right here. So I might as well just go and nab this one. Uh, I said nab it. Thank you. Yeah, another Gold Skull Tula for me, uh, which puts us on right now. 37 Gold Skull Tulas, so we're nearly, we are nearly halfway through the Gold Skull Tulas. It's all nice. Anyway, to wherever we're going to be going next. All right, guys. So the next area really should be the next temple. But after a few episodes of doing temples, I think it's time for us to do something, well, might be fun, but probably won't be fun. Hurrah for the stuff. So let's go to uh, Lake Hylia. Why not? Go, Epona. Yeah. Go. Oh, might as well go over here and uh, see what we can get. Eh, that was alright. Alright, let's get moving. So oh, that was a big Poe there as well. So I don't really care about the Poes. Poes are useless to me. Damn it, Epona. You're supposed to go over the bridge. Can't you go over the bridge? No. Oh. Alright, you can go over here though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're back at uh, Lake Hylia. Because there are some things we can do here which are uh, interesting, to say the least. And uh, horrible, to say the best. To be honest. There are enemies here. Probably water gits. Uh, there are things like uh, skull tours here. Heart pieces as well we can get. But as you can see, Lake Hylia has pretty much dried up. So that's what happened. That's what's happened to Lake Hylia here. It is pretty much dried up. Great. Lovely. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, look at, the, look at this place. This place looks awful now. Like everywhere looks awful. Bar Death Mountains looks kind of cool. But uh, yeah. Look at how horrible this place looks. Like we, can't, we can't, I don't even think actually we can get to the place we're supposed to go. I'm going to try something first. It's not going to work because I think we need to go to a specific temple to uh, to get that. But let's try the Song of Storms. Maybe that'll make this rain stuff. I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's a risk. Well, it's not really a risk, but it might work. Go! Do something! You're not doing anything. Well, bugger. Alright guys, we're going for a break here. As we can see, this place looks awful. Uh, but in the next episode, let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We will be carrying on doing something, I'm not sure. We'll find out in the next episode. I'll see you then.